Europe's farms provide EU citizens with many benefits. Yet intensive agricultural processes can create environmental problems. Air pollution is one of these issues, and Life's Gas Off project in Italy has identified best practice approaches for dairy farms in terms of reducing emissions of ammonia air pollution and also methane greenhouse gas. So in this project we analyzed uh, different type of the pavement. So we have uh, we add to different um, uh, emission of the ammonia and the greenhouse gases. And we found that in the feeding alley we had a lot of ammonia emission uh, where the animals stay of the majority of their time. And uh, in the um, resting alley, that in this farm uh, has equipped uh, with uh, cubicles uh, with uh, rubber mat, we have a major uh, emission of GAG. So it's important to remove frequently the straw, also the cleaning of the surface of the floor. Uh, for example, if you have the um, concrete floor equipped with a scraper, uh, we have the major emission of uh, ammonia and also greenhouse gases. In this case, it's important, for example, to change the concrete floor and to put the rubber matter because uh, uh, during this project uh, it uh, was possible to see that the rubber mat increased the cleaning of uh, this type of floor because it's a major the resistance of the scraper on the rubber mat. Instead, on the concrete floor, uh, when the scrubber pass, uh, you have uh, um, still uh, the manure uh, um, on the concrete floor. Uh, another solution is to add the flushing system, the mini flushing system, uh, into the farm uh, equipped with a scraper um, on concrete floor, uh, so uh, to increase the cleaning of this system. New discoveries were also made about how the livestock's diet can be changed to reduce emissions. Uh, the project um uh, had a success in uh, confirming that some nutritional strategies can be applied uh, to reduce uh, both uh, methane emission and ammonia release in the atmosphere. So a, re a reduction of the protein content of the diet of the, of the cows can lead, uh, and we demonstrated, it actually leads to a reduction of that of the excretion, and this in turn um, implies a reduction in ammonia release, uh, so better air. So I would say very simply that uh, tuning uh, on, uh, on the diet of the cows, uh, uh, acting uh, both on starch uh, and on uh, protein content, uh, we can uh, uh, be efficient, more efficient, both in milk production economically and also, also environmentally, diminishing the methane emission, so the climate change, and the ammonia release, so improving the quality of the air we are breathing. In addition, life's analysis of biogas contributions to emission controls helped to highlight conflicts between agricultural and environmental policies. And the Life Project team showed how these could be resolved to further improve air quality. We carried out a life cycle assessment uh, to evaluate the impact of uh, milk uh, production. We found uh, very interesting results regarding the influence of implementing a biogas plant in an average uh, North uh, Italian farm. And we found that uh, implementing a biogas plant uh, to uh, therefore carry out uh, uh, an aerobic digestion of the manure would reduce the greenhouse gas emission by 25% approximately, uh, up to or up to 36% uh, with a gas tight coverage of the digestate. Unfortunately, the problem of this implementation is the fact that by the national rules, uh, the subventions that are given to biogas uh, production are linked to the production of electric energy. Electric energy, of course, is produced by burning into an engine the biogas, uh, the biogas, and this results to a series of emissions to the atmosphere that decrease air quality. 
In particular, we found a slight increase of particulate emission by about 1.5%, 8% increase of acidification, and up to 40%, and this is the worst case, increase of photochemical ozone. Of course, this problem is linked to the fact that we have the energy production, but the biogas plant is not necessarily linked to energy production. We can, for example, produce biomethane, and the production of methane can result in the introduction of the methane in the national grid of gas. This, of course, will reduce or solve completely the problem of air pollution.